We've got some very famous guests coming to Roots Hall today as we welcome the Welsh megastars Wrexham to Roots Hall. Can we crack the code to beat them in today's episode of Rerouting South End? Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming. And yep, what a game we've got today. Wrexham coming over to Essex for today's game. It should be a very, very good one. We haven't got a whole lot to talk about before today's game because it's only been about two weeks since we was last together. So I'm just going to catch you up on what's been going on on the pitch before we do get into today's game. But we're starting here on the club vision screen. And why? For one reason and one reason only. I want your Southend fans' opinions. So, if any Southend fans are watching, please let me know what you think of this owner status. I'll get myself out of the way so you can see it properly. I've just spotted this as I was checking things to talk about before today's game. And, well, owner status... Ron Martin enjoys his role and doesn't feel his age has any impact on the job he does. Do you think that's accurate? I think a lot of South End fans would wish he would disappear. I was kind of hoping he would, so we could get a rich tycoon. And so we could just rock it up to the Premier League. But apparently that's not going to be happening anytime soon. And so yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. And then I think we're going to go and show you what's been happening on the pitch since we was last together. All you guys saw my first game in charge of the club as we beat Kings Lynn 2-0 away from home in a very nice performance, very comfortable I felt it was. Kings Lynn didn't really trouble us at all. And then we had our first home game. And it was against the title favourites for this season, Stockport. And we did get a 2-1 win, which was very nice to see. But let's have a look at the match stats because they tell a different story. Here they are. You can see that Stockport had 23 shots, 10 on target and an XG of 2.01. As compared to our 10 shots, 6 on target and an XG of 0.61. How we've won this game of football, I don't know. I literally am baffled. But I'm very glad that we did win it. Because if we can beat the team that's favourites to win the league, maybe we might have half a chance for promotion. Who knows? But anyway, other than that, we went and played away at Wildstone just two days following that game. Maybe sort of rotated the squad a bit, but I didn't really want to disrupt performances. And well, it was a poor performance in the end. Just a 1-1 draw, but three games in and seven points. I think most South End fans would take that. Let me know down below. Would you have taken seven points after the first three games? Do let me know in the comment section down below. And so, we are just about to get into the game against Wrexham. But before we do that, I told you at the end of the last video, I've got some inside information on our opponents today. I've almost been doing a Bielsa and doing some uh, impromptu illegal scouting, I think you might say. Let's hope the FA doesn't find out about this. But... I've got my mate, Root1FM, who is doing a Wrexham save on his YouTube channel. I'm going to link to him down below. Go and check him out. But I've asked him to give us a little bit of a scout report and to let us know who we should be looking out for in the Wrexham team. So, over to Root1. Thank you, Spence, for allowing me to come and join you on your video. Um... Guys, if you don't know me, I'm Route1FM. I've known Spence for a little while now, so I've been talking quite a bit. So, obviously, he's asked me and given me the task to do a little team review. Now, 
I know you can't see it, but on my mobile, he sent me the team sheets. Now, I've looked at them. Now, don't get me wrong. I've looked at them, and there's a few names in there that have done really well. And I'm going to point them out to you. And they're players to watch. And I'm going to start with Rob Layton, the goalkeeper. He's an experienced keeper. He is very good at shot stopping and controlling the defence. So watch out for him. He's going to be key for Wrexham, especially to, to keep the goals. And of course, in front of him is former Newcastle player Ben Tozer keep a really good eye on him. He controls the defence really well. And of course, they play three at the back, so he plays in the middle. So he's going to control it really well. In their midfield, obviously, there's a few names that I'm not familiar with. Um, they've got a guy called Luke Young in there. Now, he's been injured all season in my career, and he would have played a lot more. Um, but in IRL, he is a controlling midfielder. He He's also the club captain. So keep an eye on him. He can do well. And of course, up front, you've got to keep an eye out for Paul Mullins. Seriously, he was League One top goal scorer last season. He's dropped two leagues to go and join Wrexham. And he's going to get goals. Seriously, he's going to get goals. So Spence, all I can say is good luck. And may the best team win. Once again, thank you so much to Route 1 for doing that. So it's mainly their keeper, Luke Young and Rob Layton. Rob Layton and Paul Mullins up front that we need to keep an eye on in today's game. So we'll see how they do. Hopefully we can keep them quiet. But here is our team for today's game. This is the team for today's game. We've got Arnold in goal. John White is playing at left back because big major injury news. Nathan Ralph is out for three to four months. He picked up an injury in training. It was a broken foot, which for a footballer is quite important. So, yeah, he's out for three to four months. Tom Clifford, our other left back, is out for between six weeks and three months. So, yeah, left back is a priority. I've been looking for players but not found any as of yet. So, he's in at left back. Mitchell Nelson comes in at central defence alongside Sean Hobson. And then it's Will Atkinson at right back. And then in the middle, it's Agogo, Ferguson and Dunn. And then up front, it's Pearson on the left, Price on the right. And then it's Reese Murphy up front. I'm a little bit nervous for this game, but hopefully we can at least get a point. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Okay, just before we do get into the game, as you, as you can see, Wrexham have indeed got Leighton in goal, Ben Tozer in their central defence, Luke Young and Paul Mullin. So all the players Route 1 highlighted. He's proved to be a very good scout. Hopefully we can keep them quiet. Let's go and get the lads motivated. I'm going to go pump me fists. Uh, I want to be impressed today. No reaction. And still, come on, go out there, make a difference. A few people have reacted. Two, four, five, six. So about half the team. What do I want to say for a prediction for today? I'm going to go for another 2-1. I think we beat Stockport 2-1. We can do these 2-1. Come on, South End. 53 seconds into the game and we've got a free kick. And you can also see we've got a beautifully large crowd that should help out with the finances. And Reese Murphy scored. Reese Murphy has scored from the free kick. A direct free kick. What a goal by Reese Murphy. We have got what some might call a sock lead against Wrexham. Reese Murphy gave Root one star keeper. No chance with that. What a goal. Five minutes in, lots of highlights already so far. Hosanna back to Hayden. Hayden, is he going to play it back to his teammate? Nope, he plays it to Young. Forrester, 
into Williams. Mullin oh, almost tried to get in behind, but our man managed to get the ball before him. But Wrexham do collect it again. And this is kind of like a take two, just to really highlight the Hollywood puns. But we've tried to get the ball away, but Murphy is just nowhere near that. Williams, Mullins, take three. I wonder if Ryan Reynolds needs 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 this many takes in a film. A go-go heads away, goes to Young. Young with the long shot, and oh, that was decent, but never really challenging the keeper. Ten minutes in, how many highlights are we going to get in this game? Rowe, forward to Forrester. And back to Rowe, that's a nice one-two between them. And now Luke Young. Luke Young goes over the top. That's a great pass. Williams is in space. Williams goes for a long shot. And again, again nice and easily just to see it over. Ten minutes to half time. Wrexham have the ball, which has been quite a rare occurrence for them today. Because as you can see, we've had 63% of the possession so far. But they do have it and they're coming forward. It's Hayden to Jones. Jones plays it wide to Forrester. Forrester goes through Mullins. Is unable to get onto that, thank God, as Arnold comes out and sweeps the ball up. And Arnold throws it out wide to White. And now can White get this forward for us? A second before half time would be absolutely unbelievable. Ferguson over the top and Dunn's onto it. Dunn is onto it. He's out wide. He's played it to Pearson. Back to White. And now can we just do something with this? Mitchell, Dunn, into Ferguson. Ferguson into a go-go. A go-go with it. He's got he's got Murphy making a run. Murphy, oh, he's had a shot. It's hit the keeper, Leighton. And it's gone out for a corner ball. Come on, lads. Keep this pressure up. It's going to be my man, Price, to take the corner. He crosses it in. Brisley heads it away. And I think that's going to be the end of the highlight. Well, the half-time whistle has just gone, and after a mad start, not too many highlights after like the 25-minute mark, but we do lead the game. Six shots apiece, three on target for us, one for them, a very similar XG, 0.34 to 0.30, but we have dominated possession, which is what I wanted, which is what I want to try and instill in these lads. 65% possession, 92% of passes completed. It's all very pleasing if you're a South End fan. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hands on hips and I'm gonna say I think we're doing well, but we can definitely find another goal. No reaction. Come on people, listen to me. Here we go. Keep going, keep going. And, well, four people have listened to me, mostly in our defence. In fact, all in our defence. So, thank you for that, lads. That really gives me confidence that we're going to go and get a second goal. But, let's go and find out. Okay, still no highlights as of yet in the second half. But we have just made a couple changes. Sam Pearson is looking tired. So, Matthew Dennis, the youngster who started at Arsenal, is coming on for him. And Lewis Gard is coming on for Abu Agogo, who also is looking a little bit tired and hasn't been playing that well. Hopefully, we can get a goal to kill this game off now. Five minutes left in this second half. And Dennis is playing the ball forward for us. Dunn is almost into the box, but he's played it back to White. Into Dennis. Into Ferguson. Wide to Atkinson. Atkinson with the ball. Can he get this into the box? No, he can't. Guard, Atkinson. Atkinson being pressured quite well there, but guard to Price. Price out wide. He needs to get this into the box. Can somebody just cross this, please? Ferguson, guard. I know I've got sort of passing on, but have some human intelligence, lads. Ferguson, Dunn's in space. Is he going to go for the shot? Of course not. Ferguson, guard. Price, Ole. I think that's what we're doing. Ole, guard. Atkinson, Ole. Price, guard. Atkinson, Atkinson with the cross. Finally, and Murphy. Oh, that would have killed the game. That would have killed the game. Oh, 90 seconds left to go in the game. I was expecting there to not be any more highlights. But now Wrexham are coming forward. Jarvis is in behind. No, 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 no. Don't you dare, Jarvis. Don't you dare. Oh, thank God. A South End defender has got the ball out. 
And now, with a minute left, Gribbin, the corner kick, free kick specialist, whips it in, but we get it away. Row back to Callum Gribbin. Mullins' shot is blocked, and I think he was offside anyway. And I think we're going to just about see this through now. Arnold, is he just going to hoof this, please? Please just hoof it. Don't go short. He's gone short. Atkinson, Hobson. Back to Arnold. To White. And White with the ball. To Dennis. To Dunn. Dunn loses it, but it just goes back to Dennis. To Reese Murphy, who did score our very early goal. That beautiful free kick. And that is the final whistle. That has won us this game of football. Come on, lads. Very nice performance. Four games in, we've beaten both of the title favourites. I think this might actually be a good season. Come on. And so, let's have a look at the match stats. 12 shots to Wrexham's 10. 7 on target to their 3. XG of 0.75 to 0.51. 4 off target to their 5. And still we dominated possession. 61% of the possession. Very, very happy with that. Still 92% of the passes completed. I think we played very well. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell the lads. Uh, that was an excellent win. They're happy. Let's go and see when we're going to come back to see you guys next it might be very very early days but we are top of the league say we are top of the league hopefully we can bounce back to league two immediately this season we've made a cracking start to that challenge and so let's see when are we going to come back i want to try and get quite a few games played now just because just because selfishly, I want to be able to play this for a couple of hours before the next video. So, I don't know. When shall we come back? I'm thinking maybe sometime in November. So we can try and get a decent way into the season. Grimsby? I quite fancy a trip to Grimsby. I don't know why. But, yeah, I think that's going to be when we are going to come back. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video... Pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content as we continue on this mad journey with Southend. Follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. Thank you guys so much for watching. I shall see you next time.